What up, crew? It's Nate Bauer from Nate Bauer Fitness, and let's get ready for this one. It's your Savage Heavy Bag Workout session number four. All right, guys, just like your previous Savage Heavy Bag workouts, you have one minute of boxing combinations on the heavy bag. You have a 20 second rest, and then we hit a 40 second conditioning piece, and we follow that all the way through your workout. You're gonna go as hard as you can under control for this workout so that when you're done, you are completely satisfied. Remember, breathe with your punches, move when you can, work on some defense, and of course, have a little bit of fun. All right, gloves on, make sure your hands are wrapped, Walk up to the heavy bag and let's absolutely devastate Savage Heavy Bag Workout session number four. Let's get it guys, round number one. The first thing you're gonna do after you walk up to the heavy bag, of course, is in round number one, you're gonna throw a left hook, a number three, block right, and then any five punch combo. Three, block right, five punch combo. And just like that, let's get it done. Once again, Left hook, block right, five punch combo. Make sure you are breathing on every combination, on every movement. You can see in the upper bar up top, you can see the combination and the timer, everything's up there as a reference. But right now, get it done. Remember guys, vision is important, so look at the heavy bag, mix up your combinations, so get those heavy bag combos in there. Fifteen seconds. Remember, you finish strong in every one of these one-minute heavy bay combos. From start to finish, you get at it, but always stay under control. Be badass and work the heavy bay. Three, two, one. Nicely done. A twenty-second break. So the first thing you're gonna do in round number one in the first conditioning piece is you're gonna push the heavy bag, pivot and then throw one, two, or three, or even four punches if you want. So push the heavy bag, make some room, pivot, and throw a punch. Let's go. Push, pivot, let your hands go. When you pivot, you think of just making small angle changes. And what's also important to remember here is that you don't step too far away from the heavy bag because you want to make contact directly after that pivot. Ten seconds. Push it, pivot, and get it. Two, one, here we go. You're doing this three times per round. This is your second piece. Remember, it is a three, a left hook, block right, five punch combo. Come on. Three, block, five punch combo. Three, block right, five punch combo. You can work inside, you can work outside. One combo is speed, one combo is power, one combo is from the inside, one combo is from the outside. And work head movement, move around the bag, all the way through the round. 30 seconds. You're blocking that left hook coming at you. With that right hand, you're blocking that left hook coming at you with that block right. Then you're counter punching with a five punch combo. 10 seconds. Control your head, control your power by unleashing that holy terror. Three, two, one, into that heavy bag. Very good. All right, let's go. Push pivot. Let your hands go. We're gonna work that conditioning piece again for 40 seconds. Push, 
pivot on the heavy bag, stay nice and tight so you can make contact once again, and then let the hands go. Come on. Push, make some room, just a little. Pivot around the heavy bag, make contact. When you step out from the heavy bag to set up again, you can throw a jab to make more room, right? You can throw a jab first. Three, two, one, 20 seconds rest. You can see how fast we move. There's a little rest, but you guys are good. All right, guys, the last part of round number one. All right, you know what to do. Let me see that three block right, five punch combo. Come on. Now, if you don't want to throw that three, you can throw a jab, right? Block right, five punch combos. You can mix it up. You throw a jab to the head, a jab to the body. Could be a double jab, block right, five punch combo. A one, two block right, five punch combo, right? You can double up and triple up the jab. Less than 30, guys. Keep working it. Make sure you tuck that elbow in nicely when, you, when you're blocking to the right. Keep your hand nice and high in your, on your side of your head so that you can you know, simulate blocking that nice high shot as well. 10 seconds, be strong and controlled on your feet. And then counter punch with those five punches. Three, two, one. Last one of round number one is that push, pivot, and punch. Again, the Variety Savage Heavy Bag Workouts, it just keeps you guys thinking, giving you a lot of different scenarios, and of course, a killer sweat every single time, right? That's the idea. So again, push, pivot, punch. Throw a jab first if you want. You can throw a jab coming out. You can throw a right hand when you step out and reset. Either way, make sure the bag remembers it. Make sure your opponent remembers it. Make them think twice. Power, speed, right? Looking good on the heavy bag. You only have 10 seconds before you move into round number two. Working some inside work, working some power, some overhand rights. Hell yeah. Time. All right, guys. With this one, we change it up. We throw a jab and then block left. So bring that jab all the way back. I want this to teach you to bring the jab all the way back and then block left and throw any fury of punches you want. All right, throw some fury. One block left, dig into the heavy bag. Just let your hands go, that's it. Let your hands go when you come back after that jab, block left. Let those hands rip. I want some good speed on this one. Remember the jabs all the way out, all the way back, step into it. And then let your hands go and just a monster, savage bit of fury on that heavy bag. Reset and tackle it again. 20 seconds. Again, keep moving, breathe. Keep your breathing relaxed. Keep your footwork strong. Balance is tight. Hands are tight. Two, one, and rest 20 seconds. Now on this one, you can see here in the graphic, I want more power. So I want a two, three, two, cover, two, three, two, cover with some power and intensity. All right, so this is your first really hard conditioning drill. Two, three, two, cover, intense. Let's go, come on. Two, three, two, cover. Two, three, two, cover. Two, three, two, cover. On that pace, nonstop, come on. Let 
Remember guys, this is all on you. This is all on you. This is a Savage Heavy Bag series. You need to let your hands go with that 232, cover it up, and attack it again. That's what you have to do. That's why you're here. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Well done. Let's bring it back. Let's get in that jab, block left. Fury. Yeah, yeah, let's let it go. Come on. One, block left. Fury. Not Tyson. Get your hands going. Come on. One, all the way out, all the way back. Block left. Let your hands go. All right, freestyle that Fury in there. Come on. When your shoulders get tired, and they're probably not tired yet, use your core, all right? You can always think about strong balance, strong position, shoulders are slightly relaxed, you want your shoulder blades strong on your left hook, you wanna turn over your right hand, 30 seconds, and you want smooth, fluid movements around the heavy bag. Attack. Retreat, block, attack again, and then keep moving. Three, two, one. You know what to do. Two, three, two, cover, all power. Now, the first time you did this, you might have held back a little bit. Don't do that. Listen to me, let your hands go, put in some work with this conditioning exercise, with this conditioning combo, two, three, two, for power for 40 seconds. Ready, go. Two, three, two, cover. I said dig into the heavy bag, dig into the bag, come on. Two, three, two, cover. Two, three, two, cover. Don't hold back on that, put some dents in the heavy bag, breathe, and let's get it done. You have 15 seconds. You're still good. You're still money. 10 seconds. You're still good. Come on. 2, 3, 2. Cover. Dig in. Slight movements. 3, 2, 1. Yep. Let's bring it back. Last time. One block left. Fury. If you need to look up during your rounds, take a look and see what's going on if you get confused. If not, just listen and put in work. Let's go. One, block left. Let your hands go. Remember, these rounds are one minute. So make sure you're putting in your work. This is not all out. This is a little more controlled than your, you know, your traditional hit sessions. This is a little bit different but I still want you to go for it. I still want you to dig in, put in that effort, own the workout, look good as you're moving around the heavy bag, less than 30 seconds. Jab all the way out, bring it all the way back, block left, and then terrorize that heavy bag. See, now you start to feel your flow a little bit. 10 seconds. It starts to kick in for you. Three, two, one. There you go. All right. Let's go. Two, three, two, cover. This one should be your hardest round yet. So this is the hit portion right now. Imagine how many combinations can you throw? Two, three, twos and cover in 40 seconds. Don't hold back. Two, one, dig. Come on. Two, three, two. Two, three, two. Cover. Two, three, two. Cover. Two, three, two. Cover. Two, three, two. Cover. That speed, that tempo, all power. Come on. Fifteen seconds. Don't hold back.
cover and rip rip and cover let's go guys five four three two one beautiful round two is done in round number three guys what you do is you throw two shots to the body two shots to the head three shots to the body and then three shots to the head and you just repeat that with a mix of speed and power all the way through the round two shots to the body two shots to the head three shots to the body three shots to the head first up two go two body and then two head three body and then three head you can work the body first if you want then you can work the head you can be inside or outside speed and power two body two head three body three head less than 30 repeat that all the way through breathing's good you're always staying in control you're Shoulders aren't always tight, but they're tight when you need them to be. So when you're making heavy contact, flex those shoulder blades. Contract your abs, breathe. Three, two, one. Nicely done, guys. Loving it. Now, walk up to the heavy bag, extend your arms in front of you all the way. Put your knuckles into the heavy bag and push the heavy bag away to you while you're away from you while you're in a squat position. So now you're in a low squat hold, all right? Push that heavy bag away. Get ready and go. Squat, push the heavy bag away from you nice and low and hold it. Hold it. If you're looking up at the screen, you can see I'm holding that heavy bag away from me on an angle with straight arms. Push away from me with straight arms. Push the heavy bag away from you with straight arms in a low squat. Breathe, flex your legs. Drive your feet through the floor. Four, three, two, one. Good, bring it up. Two body, two head. Three body, three head. Get ready for it. Two body, two head, three body, three head. All right, you can start at the top or bottom first. Let's go. You can work your jabs, you can work your hooks, your overhand, right and left, uppercuts, all of it. Head movements in there. You work the combinations you know, or you try something a little bit different. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it has to feel right. But it doesn't mean you shouldn't try to mix it up, especially if you're a beginner. Learn the basics and then try to mix it up a little bit. 15 seconds, guys. Come on. Two body, two head. Three body, three head. It could be three body, three head, three head, three body. It doesn't have to start at the head or the body. Just mix it up. Three, two, one. Let's go. You guys know what to do, right? Squat, nice, low hold. Push that heavy bag away from you with your knuckles through your gloves. And don't let it push you backwards. You have to resist with a proud, tall chest and strong legs. Go. Hold the position. Your ass is just above your knees. You know what to do, push the bag away from you, lock out the elbows, flex your shoulders, flex your deltoids if you know what those bad boys are, flex your quads, make sure you're breathing. Don't let the bag push you backwards, flex your core, upright torso. Come on, two one and stand very good 
Let's go. Two body, two head. Last time around, three body, three head, speed, and power. Whatever you did last set. Power or speed. Two shots to the body, two shots to the head. Three shots to the body, three shots to the head. Come on. Give me a little more footwork on this round. I still want constant work, but I just want a little more footwork. See, often when you think just about power, just about speed, especially if you're a beginner, you typically don't move as much, but you know, you have to be comfortable moving your feet and trying to find a nice flow while you're punching at the same time. It's gonna help you long term just to simply improve, get better, and get more comfortable using different angles or throwing different punches on different angles on the bag. If you have the room. 15 seconds, it depends on how you set up, of course. 10 seconds, guys. Come on, two and two. And then three and three. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Let's get in that squat position. Hold that bag away from you. You see on that clock, there's only 12 minutes left. Right? It's nothing. Come on. It's nothing. Get in that low hold position. Arms out. Push that heavy bag away. Stay in the squat position. And hold. Let's go. For your final round on this one, squeeze your quads as hard as you can. Flex your triceps as hard as you can. Keep your elbows locked. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Flex your core. And then try to lift your ass just above your knees. Hold it. Do not stand up. Three, wait, two, wait, and up. Nicely done, guys. All right, round number four, you're gonna throw a left jab and then a left uppercut. So that's a one, five, and then five power shots. This is your all power round off of a jab and left uppercut. All right, your setup is a one, five, and then five power shots as hard as you can, go. Jab, left uppercut, pop up the chin, try to break the guard, and then land five hard power shots, and then move. One, five, five power shots. Make sure you're breathing, see your targets, you know where you're about to make impact on the heavy bag because you're looking at that point. Rotate the hips over on the right hand. Torque with that left hook. I want a stiff jab. 15 seconds. You know what to do. Jab, left uppercut, five power shots. Four, three, two, one. Man, you guys are crushing this. Let's go. So the 40 second piece is more of a control piece. It's a one, two, five, six, three, two, one, two. Jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut, three, two, one, two. You can add in a one, two. All right, just work that. One, two, five, six, three, two, one, two. And then it's gonna look like another one, two right after. You might have to watch this a couple times to get it, but you will. One, two, five, six, three, two, one, two, one, two, five, six, three, two, one, two. And you can add in a couple slip slips to the end of that one, two, if you want. This is just to tire your arms out a little bit before you crush out another power set with your one, five. Five punch combos, three, two, one. And good, let's go. Jab, left uppercut, one five, five power shots. You see that in red in there? It says all power. You feel me? Everybody, everybody. 
savage. Let's go. Stick that jab. Strong uppercut. Most make your opponent feel those five punch combos. One five. Five punch combo. Come on. It's important to move around a little bit. It's important to move your head. Especially when you're tired, that might feel like it's a little more difficult. But I know it's in you, so you just have to think about it, focus on it a little bit. Ten seconds. Feels good, right? Let those hands go like that and get gassed out. Three, two, one. Very good. Again, coming up with your 40 second piece. It's controlled. A one, two, five, six, three, two, one, two. And then you can slip right, slip left. One, two, five, six, three, two, one, two. Then slip right, slip left. You'll feel the rhythm after you throw the first couple. One, two, five, six, three, two, one, two. Jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut, hook, cross, one, two. Let's go. Get those slips in there. After you throw that combo, two slips, and start again with that one, two. One, two, five, six, three, two, one, two. Keep going, you got this. You got this. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, let's do this one more time. Let's do this one more time. You're already at the end of round number four. And then we burn it out, right? As always, we burn it out. One, five, five power shots. Again, all power. This is where you start to feel the fatigue kick in. You gotta dig deep on this one, guys. Come on, one, five, five power shots. Not two power shots, not three, five. Come on. One, five, five power shots. Variety on those five shots with that power. Strong movement, defense, get it. Come on, you got this, dig in, don't hold back. Put in that work right to the end, hear the bell. Do not stop until you hear the bell. Yes. You know what's up, your last one, one, two, five, six, three, two, one, two, and then give me a slip right, slip left, and then go again. The first time you do this workout, this this combo might be a little bit confusing, but you'll get it, you just gotta stick with it. Let's go, one, two, five, six, three, two, one, two, and then give me two slips at the end, and then go again. One, two, flow with the five, six, flow into the three, two, flow into that one, two, and then get that slip, slip, 10 seconds, and then go back to work. And time, awesome work, guys. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish strong, all right? We're gonna finish strong. Your first burnout, again, is I want five power shots and just move. This is your first burnout set, all right? Five power shots and then move. So five power shots, step. Five power shots, step. Are you ready? 
Don't hold back. Burn out, number one. Go. The hardest punches you've ever thrown under control into the heavy bag. And then move. Five power shots. Move. Five power shots. Move. Come on. 15 seconds. Five seconds. Keep putting in work. This is it. The burnouts. Let's go. And time. Good. Short rest. I want to squat hold. Get in front of the heavy bag. Push it away from you. Get into that squat right now. Get in there. Push that heavy bag away from you. Hold it. Hold. Squeeze your quads. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your shoulders. Flex your triceps. Breathe. Squeeze your quads. Don't forget. Nice tall torso. Don't you dare stand up. Don't you dare. This is tricky conditioning. You don't think it's going to hurt and then all of a sudden it does, right? Three, two, one. Yes, bring it up. Push, pivot, and punch. I want this to be consistent work. Push the heavy bag, turn, let your hands go. Push the heavy bag, turn with a pivot, let your hands go. Ready? Get it. Push the heavy bag, turn, let your hands go. You got it. Come on, only 15 left. Push, pivot, let your hands go. These workouts are fun, right? A lot of different varieties, different movements. Three, two, one. Very good. You're crushing it, guys. You're crushing this workout. Get in front of the heavy bag, push it away from you, squat, hold. Three, two, one, go. Sit, push it away, hold it in position. If you have a 500 pound bag, man, it's gonna be a little bit harder for you, but you're still gonna do it. Squeeze your legs, squeeze your shoulders, flex your core. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Almost there, crew. Come on, we are almost there. Listen to me call these combos. It's going to be a one to seven. One is a jab, two is a cross, three is a hook, four is a right hook, five is a left uppercut, six is a right uppercut, and then throw that punch. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Listen up. One, one, three, three body, four body, two, three, one, two body, four, two, three, three, two, six, three, one, two, four body, six, three body. One, one, three, three body, four body, two, three, one, two body, four, two, three, three, two, six, three, one, two, four body, six, three body. Are you guys tired? I hope you're tired from that workout. It was another banger here on the Napar Fitness YouTube channel. Guys, if you are not a subscriber to this channel, do me a favor and hit that sub button so you can continuously see new workouts and new videos coming to you guys weekly. And also so we can take this channel to 200,000 subscribers. All right, so make sure you do that. 
Once again, leave comments. Let me know how you like the workout and I'll see you for session number five. Go work guys.